Hello, my name is Miles Briney, and today I'll be taking through this week's question and answer session from us here at Innova. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this week's question is, what's the best way to export a flat pattern DXF for laser cutting? So let's just flip into SOLIDWORKS. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and load a, um, a sheet, metal component. Okay, so here's our piece of sheet. Now to create a, uh, a DXF from it, there's two ways that people tend to do this. Uh, one is to create a drawing of it and then make sure the scale is set to one to one. Uh, this, this can be uh, tricky sometimes if you forget to do it. So the best way to do it is the second approach, which is to first off just literally go and then unflatten the piece of sheet like this. And then all I need to do is if it is just a sheet component on its own, I can go to the Save As menu. I can then go to um, DXF and then hit Save. And it will bring out this output option here. And so what I'm, if you do have a sheet component, you'll get this sheet metal box here. If I click that, and then I can then export the geometry. Maybe I want to put the bend lines in as well, and then just go OK. Also, the bounding box is another one people tend to add regularly. And I should get a preview like this. So you can either just hit Save, and it will save it, or I could, for instance, use the move, Remove Entities button here, select an area here, and then... Uh, go remove and then I can hit save and then it goes ahead and then removes that item. Thanks for watching.